Hi everybody. Today I would like to show you a tensile test of glass fiber reinforced epoxy. So this is a kind of GFRP which means glass fiber reinforced plastic. Let me tell you about the standard. So for almost all mechanical tests there are ASTM standards. So you have to find out the literature of ASTM standard for that test. So for tensile tests of polymer matrix composite materials, we follow D3039 standard. So this is the standard you have to follow. So first you get this standard literature and then read about the test. So it defines all the terminologies, the sample size and the grip and many other things. So you have to try to follow as much as possible from this literature and then conduct the standard tests. So we have done this, we have used this uh, standard for our tests. So this is the tensile machine which is also known as UTM or universal testing machine. So here we have glass fiber reinforced epoxy and the volume percentage of fiber is about 70% and the fiber is in the form of fabric. So here you can see the specimen, the long specimen and we are making the grip for this specimen. So the grip is basically emery paper or abrasive paper. So abrasive paper will help to grip the specimen very firmly because in this kind of specimen it is possible that the specimen will slip from the grip. So now you can see this test we are conducting. So this is the failure place and now we can see how the failure spot looks like. So now we are conducting the same experiment but at a different crosshead speed, higher crosshead speed. And here we can see that the failure point is somewhere in the middle and you can see before test how the specimen looked like. And for the low crosshead speed which was the first test we can see that the failure takes place by delamination. So that means the fiber and the matrix delaminates. So here there is no shearing like you see in metals or there is no fracture like you see in ceramics. So here the failure mode is delamination and you can, you can clearly see that the fibers have delaminated from epoxy and you can see the fiber in this laminate. Now this is the stress strain curve for the test we have just conducted. The fracture stress was 273 megapascal and the elastic modulus was 17.8 gigapascal. Now for the higher crosshead speed, you can see that the mode of failure is same, which is delamination. But here the fracture area is much more enlarged and also the specimen swells because of the delamination and this is the stress strain curve but the stress strain curve for higher speed is exactly same as before that means this material is more or less very brittle in nature therefore the percentage elongation is also uh, same which is 4.2 which is not very high so that means the material is fracturing in a brittle manner but because it is a composite so therefore there is a delamination between the fiber and the matrix and this delamination tends to make the material is tougher. So in this video you have learned how to conduct tensile tests of a polymer composite and how to look at the stress strain curve for polymer composites. The polymer composites are basically made of strong fibers and softer matrix. In our case, 
we have used epoxy. So because of the presence of fiber, the composite tends to be very very strong compared to the matrix. And you have seen the fracture, the mode of fracture is delamination between the fiber and the matrix, which means that the stress actually is transferred from the matrix to the fiber and at some point the interfacial strength of between the fiber and the matrix is less and therefore the fracture initiates at that point. Thank you very much for your interest and I hope you have liked the video. Please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much.